Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, we've been talking about the fact that Windows 10 is becoming more like Windows 11 because Microsoft has been giving uh, the OS quite a lot of attention since the end of last year, moving into the beginning of this year. And Microsoft has made yet another announcement where they have mentioned that with the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out earlier this week, which I posted on yesterday, which is KB5036979, that they have reduced the update size, starting with this update, by 40%. Very similar to what they did um, a year or two ago with Windows 11. And this started on the 23rd of April, when the update rolled out, I received it yesterday on the 24th. And by the way, the video for this update will be in the end screen if you'd like some more information. Now, they have said from this announcement that they have decreased the size of the mon monthly latest cumulative update LCU package. And this was actually um, in the release notes for the update where Microsoft mentioned that starting April 23, 2024 the LCU will no longer have the reverse differentials now that's quite a mouthful but at the end of the day all you need to know that they have decreased the size of the update package and as an example they have mentioned from this announcement that with the update that rolled out um, for the patch Tuesday update on the 9th 10th of April KB5036892 they say that this update was 830 megabytes and this update, which rolled out um, earlier this week, is now approximately 650 megabytes. So that's give or take uh, a 200 megabyte decrease in size. Now, I must be quite honest, when the update installed, it took quite a long time to install on my device. But that could just be device-specific, hardware-specific, and so on. But um, I actually did notice, the although the installation was a little bit longer than normal the update download was actually a lot quicker which could be the fact that obviously it it went from 830 to 650 megabytes with this update now the whole reason for doing this is that microsoft now from this announcement has said and i'm quoting that they release security and quality updates for windows every month as we know resulting in a substantial amount of content that can quickly consume the network bandwidth of users operating on slower networks. And um, this has been a problem, obviously, I've seen in the comments on this channel. So they've mentioned to reduce the demands on your network. They are now taking a page from the Windows 11 playbook, as mentioned, Windows 10 is becoming more like Windows 11, and reducing the size of Windows 10 update packages. And it almost makes me think, why have they taken so long to do this? But nonetheless, better late than never, and those Windows 10 update packages now, as of this update, KB5036979, should download a lot faster now and should be a little bit smaller. And basically the benefits of the reduced update package size will be it reduces bandwidth usage, it will provide faster downloads, it will minimize network traffic and it will improve performance on slow connections according to Microsoft. So I just wanted to keep you posted if you hadn't heard already. And I actually think this is a nice step forward uh, in my personal opinion. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.